Hey peeps, Amma here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we'll be talking about the societal challenges which uh, parents in the 21st century are currently facing. For this conversation is um, Natalie White, who is an LLP life coach, professional coach for parents, educators, and holistic practitioners. Thank you so much, um, Natalie, for joining me for this uh, vital conversation. Welcome to the channel. It's really an honor to have you. Hi, Amma. Thank you so much. I also feel super privileged to just even be able to meet you and have a chat because we have so much in line with each other so it's great to be here and i'm really excited to um, share what we've been talking about thanks thanks a lot natalie what are some of the um challenges in today's society the modern society that we are currently living in the 21st century um that that contributes to the creation of unfavorable um condition or environment to 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 raise uh children right Okay, so I'm going to talk about two, um, two issues. The first one is the attitude towards learning. And then the second one is the lack of support for parents. Yeah. So um, the first one is sort of the societal lack of uh, the societal uh, viewpoint towards learning in the parents, in the family, in the teachers, um, and in the kids themselves, and also in all the media, is the expectation that you study something and then you get a job and you're going to do that for the rest of your life. All right. Instead of this constant lifelong learning where you're constantly training, learning, honing in your skills and so on. Mm. So what happens is it's very much seen as an end point. So there's this reward towards getting, um, you know, this quick qualification or getting this and then, and then you move on. Mm. And so the, the children sort of associate learning with something that gets completed, um, uh, something, uh, something that, um, that is a reward once they finish it and then it's over with. So there's a very negative connotation mm. to learning and studying. It's something that people want to get over. You know, and 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 then also the parents' attitude towards learning in in if the children make a mistake, they get punished. You know, so there's a the, the learning has quite a negative in school and studies, and that have quite a negative viewpoint, um, uh, are viewed negatively by most of society. You know, it's 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 a it's a thing that we tolerate that we have to do. You know, and we have mm. to fight with our children to do it. Well, it's a challenge because um, people end up being in situations where they don't have all the knowledge and skills to move on and then they get stuck or they lose their job uh. or what is, and, and yeah. So, so without having that mindset, you know, for, for example, you'll have these corporate uh, training uh, sessions that they have, let's say once a month or, you know, once every couple of months and all the people, the employees sitting in there are sitting in there, you know, upset and miserable about it. Oh, we got training again, you know. Um, the, the attitude towards learning in society in general is quite negative. When people say, oh, I've got to study, you know, yeah. it's got a bit of a negative connotation to it. So it's that mindset that I think um, is the first thing that we could work on changing mm -hmm. is getting, getting people to just love learning, love learning, you know, love studying, enjoy yeah. it, feel the satisfaction and whatever. So that's the yeah. first, that's the yeah. first issue. And why um, is it I so important though, Natalie, why is it so important though for, for us to love learning? I totally agree with you. It's, it's, you yeah, I know. so why is it so important to really love learning and understanding that learning is continuous? How does that help our children? Yes. Okay, so um, it's crucial for for children to get into this habit of lifelong learning, get into the idea that learning is going to be constant because we're in a society now where with the technology, things are changing so rapidly that you have to be on the edge. You have to know what's mm -hmm. going on. Um, otherwise, you actually, you, you fall behind. So yeah, learning and, 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 it, and it's going to change and you're going to have to keep up with it. It changes all the time. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. So I think um, it's also essential to mention 
uh, the, the concept of adaptability mm -hmm. and um, it's no longer okay for any for any person to say oh this is how we've always done things because I'm sure there's a quicker way now <laughs> so to to just yeah to to um, have them in an environment where uh, learning is constantly happening and they're adapting and also get into that mindset that you're not going to stop doing this it's never going to stop. Don't think you're going to get to a point. Okay, I'm finished learning now. Okay, everything's fine. No. Continuous. Change is constant. Mm -hmm. Learning is constant. Living is constant. Even if you create a business, you still have to work on it, you know. So it's this constant, persistent um, environment of learning and changing all the time, which is really so crucial. Parents need to need to see learning as a rewarding experience as an exciting exhilarating experience and a very natural experience for children so mm -hmm. children learn mostly through imitation um especially you know you've probably found in your life you get to a point and you say oh i sound just like my mom <laughs> you know because without it without you knowing it as an adult you actually end up copying her behaviors that she did that you haven't expressed yet because you haven't been at the point you know that she was and so you see yourself imitating your parents without your without your um, volition, mm -hmm. um, and then and then the the second point that I want to mention that I, I think is close to my heart is the lack of support for for families. So it's very hard for a single parent to um, you know look after their children, do the jobs, run the household, do the cleaning. Um, and still do the parenting when their when their resources are so diminished. Um, mm -hmm. It's very hard then to have a very relaxed attitude towards learning and your child doing their homework. It's very hard to have a growth mindset when you don't have time to even um, relax, let alone sit down and study something or learn something. So how do you, you know, how do you yes. sort of enact that for your children to to watch mm -hmm. if you don't even have time to breathe? Um, they're certainly going to learn from a work ethic, <laughs> you know, if you're a single parent and they watch you, they're certainly going to have a good work ethic, because but um, yeah, yeah, you don't stop. So kids do imitate their parents. So that's at least one thing, single parents. Um, and I just wanted to share a statistic with you that I read up lately um, mm -hmm. in South Africa, um, over 60% of uh, children have absent fathers. Um, it's absolutely shocking. I just oh read it gosh. today. That's huge. Yeah, that's, that's a big number. It's shocking. And, and um, there's only 3% that are single fathers. Oh, my and, word. And, um, yeah. And then, um, and then it was something like 40%, um, yeah, only 40%, 40%, uh, more than 40% of mothers um, are that exist in South Africa are single. Yeah. So crazy. That's, that is, yeah. So um, everyone says it takes a village to raise a child. It takes mm. a village to raise a child. And here we have these single moms and single parents and whatever trying to do all of this. Plus, you know, create a perfect environment for, for learning mm -hmm. for their child. And um, mm -hmm. yeah. So I think that's another mindset that needs to change is the, there needs to be more support um, you know, from the fathers, there needs to be more support from the families, there needs to be more support from the communities, the teachers, the peers, whatever, um, there has to be, that is, because ultimately the kids are going to learn from this, the environment, which is the social environment, mm. and they need to feel supported by, by their, so, by their social group. Absolutely. You know? Wow, well, th thank you, thank you so much, uh, Natalie, for for that. That's very thought provoking, and it's really shocking how there's so much challenges in society, especially for for parents that are raising children in the 21st century. It's, it's really, really shocking. I truly appreciate your 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 thoughts and your your input uh, on on this and this topic. Thank you so much uh, for joining me. Uh, it's it's really great. It was really great uh, talking to you. Um, so, uh, peeps, if you guys have any thoughts about today's conversation, uh, please just leave a comment in the in the comment section below. And if you have enjoyed the discussion, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And just so you know, next week we'll be discussing, mm -hmm. of course, next week we'll be discussing the solutions to these challenges. And, and Natalie will be joining me once again just to outline the solutions, the challenges that she mentioned today. So, yeah, thanks again once uh, once again, Natalie, for joining me. 
it was totally my pleasure. I love, love talking about this stuff. Thanks. (laughs) 